Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this epic vertigo dolly zoom Star Wars whatever effect. I'm gonna drag my footage on the sequence. I'm gonna set the scale to 51%. Then I'm gonna go roughly around three seconds from the beginning of the clip and I'm gonna set two keyframes, one for the position and one for the scale. For the position, I'm also gonna set the X value to 1024. I'm gonna move one second forward and then I'm gonna set another couple of keyframes, position and scale, and I'm gonna set the X value for the position to 929 and then the Y value for the position to 511 and then the scale to 90%. Now, bear in mind that these numbers are not coming out of the blue, but these are numbers coming out of a bunch of experiments I've done before recording this tutorial. So these are the number that works well for this clip. I'm going to move at the end of the vertigo effect. I'm going to set a keyframe for the speed, and then I'm gonna bump the speed of the clip to roughly 550%. With that done, I'm gonna break down the keyframe into a Bayesian point. But now it's time to spice it up. So I'm going to create an adjustment layer. I'm gonna drag the adjustment layer on top of my clip in the sequence. I'm gonna look for an effect which is called lens distortion. I'm gonna drag the effect on the adjustment layer. I'm gonna set one first keyframe for the curvature and I'm gonna leave it to zero. I'm gonna set a second keyframe. This time I'm gonna bring the curvature down to roughly minus 40%. And then moving forward a few seconds, even more, I'm gonna bring back the curvature to zero. This is gonna automatically set the third keyframe. And there you have it. That's your star tracking vertigo dolly zoom model. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.